Uh, this is a grade 9 lesson on the number system. So this will be lesson 1. Again, this is Maths with Ams. Don't forget to give me a huge like or subscribe. Right, uh, properties of numbers. Now, if you are an educator, then you must ask your learners to give examples of each before the table below is mediated with them or the table can be developed with the learner's input. For instance, ask learners what are natural numbers. Remember, we use capital N and these are the most basic type of numbers and they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to infinity. Already, you must ask yourself which numbers are missing here. You will notice that there are no fractions and there are no negative numbers. Go to the next one. Even numbers are a subset of natural numbers. Now again, what are even numbers? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. That means it is divisible by 2. Again, no fractions. Let's go to odd numbers are a subset of natural numbers. Odd numbers are like 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Now don't confuse odd numbers with prime numbers. Right. Odd numbers are not divisible by 2. Then prime numbers are numbers greater than 1, which can only be divided by itself and 1 without a remainder. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, etc. 2 is the only even uh, prime number. All the others are odd the what is a composite number? It can be divided by one itself and at least one other number without a remainder. So 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. So they can be even and odd, but they have at least three factors. Then one is neither a prime number nor a composite number, but it is a factor of every natural number. Take note, one is not prime no composite. So please take note of that, that 1 equals to 1 times 1, 2 is 1 times 2, 3 is 1 times 3, 20 by 1 is 20. So therefore we call 1 the identity element of multiplication and division. Even 1 to the power 5 is 1, the square root of 1 is 1, the cube root of 1 is 1, etc, etc. So 1 is quite a unique number. Whole numbers, see how we show it, N, capital M with a zero, the set of natural numbers together with O, with zero. Whole numbers are all, also consist of odd, even, and prime numbers. So take note, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six to infinity. So what is missing? Fractions are still missing, and the negative numbers are still missing. Zero is neither a prime number nor a composite. For instance, 4 plus 0 is 4, 5 minus 0 is 5. So 0 is the identity element of addition and subtraction. Also, 0 divided by 3 is 0, 0 times 5 is 0, but 4 divided by 0, of course, is undefined. Right next will be your integers. Take note, we use the symbol Z. Now, the set of integers consists of the positive whole numbers, 0, and the negative numbers. And again, what is still missing? Fractions. Take note, fractions are missing. But now we have all the whole numbers, the natural numbers, the even numbers, the odd numbers, and the prime numbers. Rational numbers, and we use symbol Q, any number that can be written in the form A over B, where A and B are integers, but of course B not allowed to be zero. So it's an integer divided by a non-zero number. And they are finite, like 75 over 100, it's a three-quarter, which is, of course, 0, 0,75. Negative 1,5 is negative 15 over 10, which is negative 3 over 2. Recurring decimals, 0, 0,3 with a dot, which is a third, or negative 0, 0,8 recurring, or minus 8 over 9. If there's a pattern, if they recur, then they are rational. Irrational numbers is Q with an accent mark. They are numbers with infinite non-terminating decimals, 
whose numbers goes on forever. Like in practice, we use a rounded off values. Like the square root of 2 is 1,414 and it goes on forever. So there's, there's no recurring and it is, of course, non-terminating. So therefore, it is regarded as irrational. Pi is another one. 22 over 7, which is 3,141592, and it goes on forever. Again, no pattern, but of course, it is irrational because it is not uh, recurring. So that you must remember. So if you look at the diagram of the real number system, then you can see very clearly there are two rectangles. Rational numbers are separate from irrational numbers. So rational numbers will then be natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, and rational. So all so that shows you very clearly which numbers are rational and of course which of course will not be rational or rather irrational. All right, let's look at the example here. So if you look at the, the row on top number, so n for natural, n with a zero for whole number, z, q, and q. So remember the z, z will be integers, q will be rational, and q with the x and mark will be irrational. If you look at 15. Is 15 natural? Yes. Is 15 a whole number? Yes. Is it an integer? Yes. Is it rational? Yes. Is it irrational? No. So that is what you must. So I want you to look at all those. See, can you do them before we look at the memo? But I will advise you to use a calculator when you do the rest. Like the square root of three, if you use a calculator, you will notice it is a it's irrational because it is a fraction that is that is non-terminating and there's no pattern it's not recurring and of course it is definitely not a rational number it is not a whole number it is not an integer it is uh, irrational no but rather irrational okay so please go through all of them and check them out just for you to make sure that you understood for instance look at pi for instance there pi is it a, a natural? No. Is it a whole number? No. Is it an integer? No. Is it a rational? No. Irrational? Yes. So please, this is very important that you need to go through each and every one of them and make sure that you understood. Right. Thanks for watching. This is uh, Ahmed Suriman. Uh, please don't forget to give me a huge like. And don't forget to subscribe.